Hi, I'm Ken Duncan, alias Printman, <laughs> and I'm here to talk to you today about what I consider the ultimate archival book. I'm an avid collector of photography, not just my own work, but other people's work as well. Because I believe if you're going to be really serious about photography, you need to have a passion and a, for the art of photography, not just your own work. And this helps inspire you as a photographer, not that you have to copy other people's work, but it just inspires you to do better yourself. So this is why we've come up with this archival book concept, because it's not going to be just about the photos. It's going to be about the stories behind the photos, because photographers spend a lifetime getting photos. No photographer that I know is, is about the money. He's about the story. He's about the journey. And you know, I want to be able to look upon the images and know the story behind the famous images. Now for me, as an avid collector of photography in the form of prints, you can only have so many prints on your wall before who's got a big enough house. And so now this is a perfect way for you to collect photographers' collections. You'll be able to have an artist proof collection of some of their finest works. And it's going to produce to such a standard that the photographers are going to be so proud because they'll know that this is the best way you can display any work in this medium. So some of the photographers that I admire are people like Frank Hurley. Imagine if you had a collection of Frank Hurley's greatest works bound in a beautiful book signed by Frank Hurley. You know, it'd be an artist proof collection of his work. What would that be worth today? Not just from a monetary point of view, but from a historical point of view, to be able to appreciate the best of his work printed to the highest standard and him signing it off thinking, yes, this is as good as I can do. Or people like Peter Dombrowskis, who is a person who I greatly admire, a Tasmanian great photographer. Imagine having a collection of his work and having all of his work just there to so you could see it and have the stories behind each shot. Or imagine Ansel Adams having an Ansel Adams collection printed to the highest standard that even Ansel himself would have signed off and said, yes, this is as good as it can get as far as he's concerned. These books will be worth a fortune. But you know what? Not just a fortune monetarily, but in historical documentation, because these people have basically, their whole life has been about telling this story. So why shouldn't we make a medium where they can tell the story to the ultimate level? This book is a culmination of many years in producing books, and we've won awards all around the world for the quality of our production but I've always been striving for even better. The reason I've chosen Memento to do the production of this book is I researched many companies who do book production and I could only find Memento who would do the quality that I needed. It's produced in Australia by artisans, people who really know what they're doing, award-winning, but the most important thing is they're all about quality. We've come up with a format which I believe is very workable for different formats of images, but it'll work also for any other photographer that we produce in the future. The book is being printed in an RGB colour space, which is one of the highest colour spaces you can use. Normal book printing on offset printing is CYMK and gives you nowhere near the colour gamut. Each picture in this collection is printed the same way as we do for our fine art limited edition prints. Also, every page is sprayed so they're protected from any surface contaminants that could actually get on the page and also it gives added UV protection. We're using Epson Ultrachrome inks. These are the finest archival pigment inks available on the market. The quality on the Epson printer is unmatched. You're talking about very high resolution, and this is something that you can't get in a normal printed book. We're printed on Hanamul double-sided cotton rag paper, and these are the most archival papers in the marketplace. Hanamula has been producing paper for 400 years, so when they say something lasts, you can take that to the bank. Each book is hand-bound using traditional binding techniques.
In this modern world of social media and bombardment of like white noise, it's so important to get back to the basics and have something in a printed form. And when it comes to photographs, a photograph is not a photograph until it's printed properly. With these artist-proof collections, when they're sold out, the only way you'll be able to purchase them is on the resale market. And at that time, they'll be very expensive. So get in early and secure your collection. The book and the presentation case are leather finished because these are archival processes that have been around for years. The whole thing about this book, everything's been done to the highest standard. Even when it came to designers, we used Peter Morley, who is without doubt one of Australia's, if not one of the world's best book designers. And the brief given to Peter was to keep it classic. Don't get too modern, because it has to be a design that transcends time and a design that'll work for all future publications. Typography is in itself an art, and this is why we needed a good designer because it's, the stories had to be told well by the person, but they had to be presented well. The designer has also made sure that there's adequate white space around each image so that the book doesn't look crowded and so that you can just fall into each individual image. Each picture is presented uncropped and is an artist's proof of what the finished originals appear like in life. Any double page photo spreads only appear where there's a natural spread in the book. So there's no destructive visual book gutters running through any pictures. This series of books is going to be very collectible and because they're all of a similar format, they'll be like a match set for a limited edition of 300 only worldwide. And people are already ordering specific numbers. They're saying, I don't just want number eight of, of your book, but I want eight of all subsequent books so they have a matched collection. Hopefully this book will also inspire you to do something about your story, to produce a book of the same standard so that future generations will be able to learn from the wisdom of your journey. I hope you've enjoyed the behind the scenes look at the creation of what I believe the ultimate archival book. I truly believe this collection is going to be something that's very desired, so get in quickly. This is Farewell from Printman. See you again. <laughs>